cancer survivorship is really a distinct phase of the cancer journey. And it's, uh, I think, increasingly being recognized how critical it is that cancer patients understand that cancer survivorship uh, has unique challenges and challenges that don't just end at the time that treatment ends. I think the best way to manage that distinct phase is to understand that it's real, that you're not alone, that cancer survivors have all experienced these kinds of things, perhaps each in a unique way, uh, and have an active plan to deal with it. You know, a, a good survivorship plan, uh, I think, can be divided into three pretty straightforward sections. What happened in the past? What was your diagnosis? What was your stage? What kind of treatment did you have? Uh, and what are some of the negative effects of those treatment that might need to be anticipated in, uh, in the future? That part of the survivorship plan is your treatment summary. And providing a really good treatment summary can be very helpful to the next team that may inherit responsibility for your care. The next part of that survivorship plan is what's going to happen in the future. Are there specific testing that you need, what we call surveillance, when you're, you're watched for a recurrence of cancer? There's a second set of tests that I call screening tests. A screening test is looking for something new. It's not looking for a return of that first cancer, but it's looking for the emergence of a new disease before any symptoms have occurred. If you've had certain cancers, you may be at somewhat higher risk for a new cancer, a subsequent cancer, and the guidelines for screening, for looking for that new disease, may differ. So explicitly ask the doc, listen, you know, I've had this treatment, make sure they understand, are there different cancer screening tests that I need? And then the third part of a good survivorship plan, I think, is how does uh, your cancer uh, impact potentially those around you? It's important that every cancer survivor understand that uh, uh, they're likely to have some down days. Th there's a term that we use in the cancer survivorship literature called distress. And I, I like that term because and there are various ways to measure distress because it kind of takes all of these things into account. So there's quite a few organizations that provide wonderful information and guidance for cancer survivors. Uh, the, the two that come foremost to mind are the American Cancer Society and Live Strong, which really was built on a platform of helping cancer survivors. The American Cancer Society has an 800 number, 1-800-ACS-2345, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Call and, and they can help steer you to additional information that you may uh, require that's specific for the circumstances that you're facing.